What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now, we are on Chapter 2 in our series of the SSI Deep Diver Program. And our goal here is to help you prepare for your final exam and we really hope these videos help or serve as a review for you if you're going out to do deep dives. Now, with that being said, please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and make a deep dive. Please make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI deep diving instructor. So with that being said, let's jump into chapter two. Now, the first part of chapter one that we're going to look at is deep dive limitations. Now, typically speaking, zero to 60 is our open water limitations. 60 to 100 is going to be our advanced limitations. And 100 to 130 is where the deep diver certification really comes into play. Now, with these deeper depths, of course, nitrogen narcosis is a real thing. And it's something that we should be concerned with. Your local SSI deep diving instructor is going to do three consecutive dives, one to 60, one to 80, and one to 100, to see how your body reacts to higher partial pressures of nitrogen. Nitrogen. Even once you're certified as a deep diver, I would still encourage you to take it slow. Do consecutively, say, deeper dives as you go along in your diving career to give your time or give your body time to adjust to higher partial pressures of nitrogen so that we don't get NART when we're underwater. Now, the next part of chapter two that we're going to talk about is planning deep dives. And one of the most important things that we can plan is gas management. Your local SSI deep diving instructor is going to assist you by showing you how to calculate both your SAC and your RMV rate. Now, if you need a quick review on how to do that, we actually got a video up here showing you how to do both. I'll also put both videos in the description below as well. Now, once you've got that calculated, you need to make sure that your breathing rate is staying at the same rate. If you start to increase your activity underwater or as we go down deeper, we will be using more gas. So we do want to have an average sack rate. This is something that you can build up over a series of dives as well. But as I stated before, your local SSI deep diving instructor is going to assist you by getting your average sack rate throughout your course. Now, the last part of chapter two that we're going to talk about is diving deep while at altitude or how altitude affects us after, say, a deep dive. Now, typically speaking, say if you're up in the mountain regions or anything above, say, a thousand feet of sea level, you're already going to have residual nitrogen in your system. So if you're making deeper dives, you want to make sure that you set your computer up appropriately for the correct altitude. That way you're going to have the proper amount of on gassing and off gassing or the proper information through your computer so that you know exactly how how much nitrogen you're on gassing. Now, after a deep dive, you got to remember you've probably stored a little bit extra nitrogen than what you have, say, at shallower depths. And with that being said, you may want to give yourself a little bit more leeway before, say, you get on an airplane to fly home from your destination. Typically speaking, 24 hours is a great amount of time to stay for typical recreational dives, shallow dives. But with deep diving, we tend to tell you a little bit longer than that. 36 to 48 hours is going to be a little bit better than your typical 24 hours prior to flying on a plane. So guys, that's going to do it for chapter two in the SSI Deep Diver Program. We really hope this video and this entire series helps you prepare for your final exam for the SSI Deep Diver Program. But please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series to go out and make a deep dive. Make sure you're seeking out proper training from your local SSI Deep Diving Instructor. But stay tuned. We've got three more videos left in this series, and we really think it will help you. But until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.